about Lamar Jackson again. I've talked about them being $100 million apart in contract. I've talked about collusion. I've talked about the franchise tag. I've talked about landing destinations. But now it was confirmed that Lamar Jackson declined a fat ass bag from the Ravens. And excuse my language, but I almost could not believe the freaking bag that he turned down when I looked into it. So Lamar Jackson, Adam Schefter came out, said that Lamar Jackson apparently turned down a $200 million contract. I can't remember if he said it was guaranteed or not, but he turned it down. Lamar Jackson did, in fact, turn down not $200 million. He did confirm that him and the Ravens were $100 million apart in contract talks. Lamar Jackson turned down a three-year, $133 million, fully guaranteed deal. Fully guaranteed. $133 million. So as I'm on the show right now, most guaranteed money NFL. Tracking the most money guaranteed. When was this written? Because just to know this would be crazy. March, this was written yesterday. Let's see. Obviously, Deshaun Watson, 230 guaranteed. Josh Allen, 150 guaranteed. Aaron Rodgers, 151 guaranteed. Russell Wilson, 165 guaranteed. Kyler Murray, 190 guaranteed. God bless it. That is guaranteed money, right? Yep. Okay. So I, I can I can kind of understand. You don't even want to pay me Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, or Deshaun Watson money, and I can make a case that I'm better than all of them as of right now, and other people out there would make the case for them too. I get that, right? But Lamar, <clears throat> you realize you haven't finished your last two seasons? You realize that the Deshaun Watson contract was an outlier. Like, you're you're not going to get that. And the fact that they wanted to come up here and let, let's just do the math, ladies and gentlemen, 133 divided by three is $44 million a year. Just want to make sure I have that right. 133 divided by three. Yes. $44.3 million a year for a quarterback that hasn't finished his last two seasons. And I'm not a Lamar Jackson hater, but just, just take this into perspective for a quarterback that hasn't finished his last two seasons. For a quarterback that hasn't looked great in the playoffs, for a quarterback that shrunk as the best player in the league and unanimous MVP in the playoffs, for a guy that hasn't even thrown for 40 touchdowns in a season, for a guy that hasn't even thrown for 4,000 yards in a season. Lamar, they were willing to pay you guaranteed for the next three years. What are you doing? It's just, it's so confusing because... Like, I get it. You only get paid like this once. You're already in the 1% of the 1%, and you feel like maybe, you know, whether it's greed or not, you feel like some of the dollar signs will kind of calm down for these guys, right? Because, hell, just a million-dollar paycheck to 99% of the people in this world would change their life. And you're $100 million in contract talks apart. You don't have an agent. And I just want to go on record and say, Lamar Jackson, if you did have an agent, you would be signed. <coughs> You would have a deal, Lamar. You would probably be in the top five highest paid quarterbacks in NFL history and in the league right now if you had an agent. But you're representing yourself. All respect. I think there's been rumors about Lamar's mom being an agent. All respect. But when you deal with big-time agents that have dealt with big-time players, Lamar Jackson, you're a big-time player. They get you big-time money. And you just turned down a $44 million fully guaranteed deal. They even gave you the benefit of the doubt if you wanted to leave Baltimore after three years. Three years to make $133 million. Oh, man. I was just shocked when I figured out that Lamar Jackson actually turned that down. And again, you don't want to pay me like Josh Allen. You don't want to pay me like Kyler, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Deshaun Watson. I get that. I can make a case that I'm better than all of them, but we can also prove, Lamar, that a team just offered you a 40 plus million dollar contract, fully guaranteed for only three years. I think that's a very generous offer considering that you have not finished your last two years. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm a Lamar fan. Love the dude. 
Michael Vick is my favorite player, so when I see Lamar Jackson on the field doing his thing, it takes me back to when I first started watching football in 2004. When I got my first Madden case, Madden 05, Ray Lewis on the cover. Michael Vick was a cheat code at that point. So don't think I'm out here dogging Lamar. I'm not. But it's very perplexing and confusing to know that he turned down this contract. So, I mean, of course we know. In my opinion, Lamar Jackson is silly for turning this down. Get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think. But with this information, because we love to play the blame game, people want to play the blame game. Can you push more blame onto Lamar Jackson or Baltimore knowing that he turned this down and now he's not signed? I'm blaming Lamar. As of right now, I'm blaming Lamar Jackson. March 21st, 2023, 8, 11 p.m. Eastern time. I am blaming Lamar Jackson for him not being signed yet. You don't have an agent. You bet on yourself and it bit you in the ass. Again, I'm, I, I like you a lot, bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm breaking down the situation for what it is. You haven't finished the last two seasons. You don't have an agent. And you just turned down, like, I, I get it. You're $100 million apart, but, I mean, when you look at, okay, I can only be here for three years. Hey, girl, you good? Sorry, y'all got to make sure the pups don't have bad dreams. We only want you to play for three years. We're willing to pay you every penny of this contract. We're even willing to pay you amongst the top paid quarterbacks in the league with $44 million a year. But it's the guaranteed money. It's 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 the amount of time. And, you know, maybe you can look at this and say, okay, maybe the Ravens should have been a little more generous. Maybe they should have given him a little more money, a little more time. Maybe they should have given him something that big to show that, hey, we are committed to you, like the GM said. And let's just go back to what I think DaCosta said. You know, basically something along the lines of, we look forward to continuing to, go sh- to negotiate with Lamar Jackson and have good faith that a deal will get done. And we want the future of this team to be built on Lamar Jackson. I think the offer should have reflected that, though. And and I said it, word salad, he's saying what he's supposed to say. But Lamar, again, also has to realize he hasn't finished his seasons. He hasn't been big in the playoffs. And he just turned down three years, $133 million fully guaranteed. I'm blaming Lamar as the reason he's not signed right there. But you can also, very interesting situation, you can also look at the fact that Lamar, and the commitment of the Ravens. The reports did leak that the Ravens were looking into Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield before they each got signed and free agency present with the commanders, Baker Mayfield with the Rams. So, I mean, the, the Ravens, again, they, they have their hands tied so tight because they got burned after they paid Joe Flacco. They paid players in the past before. They see how Kyler just got hurt. They see how Russell Wilson was just uh, was just bad. They see how Derek Carr, after getting extended and luring in a teammate, he's gone. They see how Matthew Stafford just got hurt after his big extension. They see how Aaron Rodgers now wants to be a Jet after his $60 million he's due to make in 2023. They see all that. So you can't blame them for their skepticism because the core of it, and and and, and this is also why I'm really going to finally like place, I guess, more of the blame on Lamar. Throw the damn Deshaun Watson contract out the window, bro. Throw it out. Burn it. Rip it up. Step on it. Shred it. Whatever you got to do. Out of your mind, at least, right? That was a desperate move from a desperate franchise. And the Ravens are neither one of those. And you're not a desperate player, Lamar. But in a way, you're kind of acting desperate. Because of this deal you just turned down. So Lamar Jackson, again, turns down, turns down a three-year, $133 million, fully guaranteed deal from the Baltimore Ravens. And with that information, I'm going to push more blame onto Lamar Jackson because Baltimore basically said, look, we'll pay you a lot. We'll even give you a fully guaranteed deal. But we're going to protect our asses on the back end and only make it for three years. And we're also going to be Potentially looking into Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield just in case you don't want to slide through for us.